Welcome, and congratulations on completing an undergrad degree. Doing so already puts you in an exclusive group made up of only 36% of the United States population. So your educational achievements thus far make you more competitive than most Americans. Now, you're saying, but that's not enough. I would like to join the 13% of Americans with a master's professional or doctoral degree. Well, congratulations on being on finding us here at christiangradschools.com and exploring this next step. So it's time for your graduate degree. My name is Alma Salazar and I uh, have the uh, privilege of working with admissions in the undergrad world for over 15 years and now uh, going on my fifth year working with uh, graduate students. So the next questions um, are frequently asked by prospective students. So I will attempt to give you my perspective and advice. So first, Common question, why should I pursue graduate education and will it be worth it? So there are many things to consider before being able to answer this question well. Um, I'm gonna give you five things that grad schools uh, may be able to offer you and you might be looking for. So first of all, a graduate degree is necessary for desired professional fields. Uh, so fields like healthcare, teaching, law, social work typically require an advanced degree. I recommend you would uh, talk with people who are doing the work that you want to do. So in the field, talk with them, ask them about their graduate education and what things uh, may have uh, they may have considered uh, before starting their schooling. Knowing if they would uh, do it all again can affirm your decision for grad school and certainly shed some light given they are in the, the field currently and can give you their perspective. So the second thing is that a graduate degree will lend uh, to your interest in being a lifelong learner. So if that's something that you uh, would like to do, perhaps there's no immediate practical application for graduate degree, that's okay. Uh, academic curiosity and being a lifelong learner can be a to pursue a graduate degree. Graduate school provides a space to be reflective and immerse yourself uh, in your subject area, and, and which you know can be difficult if you're to do if you're not in academia. So, but it's a costly way to pursue learning for learning's sake. Uh, it's worth taking a look at your finances if that's you, and consider before pursuing graduate school for this particular reason alone. The uh, third thing is that a graduate degree can help you be a thought leader in your area of study. So if you would like to make a difference in an area of work, then grad school is for you. You can become a master or specialist in your area and make an impact by uh, being the go-to person uh, in your area of specialty. The fourth thing to consider is a graduate degree may increase your professional options and prospects. So going to grad school can uh, help increase flexibility in the type of work you do currently, uh, maybe prepare you for a bigger career transitions, uh, such as maybe switching sectors altogether, industries or switching professions. So a graduate education can help you gain advanced skills in, and in-depth knowledge of an area outside of your specialty. So it provides a solid foundation uh, in a complete area. Aside from the degree, grad school is also a great place to network. Your professionals, classmates, and peers all can be great connections to, to keep as you pursue your career after grad school. Then, of course, a graduate degree may improve your current career. Uh, grad school can help increase skills, knowledge, uh, so that uh, you're doing your best work uh, and that you are uh, perhaps in a better position for additional opportunities to advance in your career. So a graduate degree may also be the deciding factor in negotiating a pay raise. Um, now, while all graduate degrees do not always automatically lead to promotion and title, salary, and so forth, it can certainly be worthwhile. Um, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, as workers... Uh, educational attainment rises, their unemployment rate decreases, and earnings increase. So, of course, pursuing graduate school for whatever your reason can be very valuable. So, next question I get quite often, what should I study? For many of you, you are in a place to know exactly what you want to pursue in this next step. You may love what you're already doing, would love to increase your knowledge uh, in the field, and that's fantastic. Others of you may be exploring ways to increase career options and are pursuing possible salary increases, more responsibility, et cetera. And, and you may know exactly what steps you need to take in order to get into that next stage uh, in your career. And that's great, too. Uh, 
And yet other of you uh, may be in that place of exploration and trying to determine what the best road might be for you. And if this is you, I would recommend doing extensive research. Now is the time to do so. Remember, graduate programs, unlike uh, undergrad programs, often do not have uh, much flexibility uh, since they're very, very specialized. They don't have opportunities for you to transfer to other schools or change programs. Uh, typically, that's not a really uh, pr a strong practice or a common practice in grad school. So before embarking on this road, explore. Some of the ways in which you can do that is starting right here uh, at christiangradschools.com. Plenty of uh, wonderful schools uh, to uh, explore, but uh, I would even back up and begin with talking with your faculty. Um, they are the great source of information and often enjoy helping explore the various options uh, that are out there in your area of uh, interest. Uh, and you may want to start uh, by asking about their own personal experience. Again, ask them, would you do anything different um, if you had to do graduate education journey all over again? Also, um, as an alumni of your um, school, you still have um, a lot of services available to you uh, at your uh, university. So tap into those resources. Career Services Department will often have helpful tips about graduate education and may also be able to provide you valuable, valuable career and labor market information, so, uh, similar to the one uh, I just mentioned in regards to the labor market and the labor market statistics. Your academic advisors and even your admissions counselors um, at your undergrad schools can provide you direction as well and options that may work uh, in meeting your goals. They are always um, very open to meeting with you uh, if given the opportunity. And of course, consider speaking to your mentors. Uh, those are the uh, people that know your uh, gifts uh, even better than you do sometimes. So uh, once you've narrowed down a few programs, then I recommend moving on to that next step. And so the next question students ask is, where should I apply? What school should I go to? So again, uh, gaining information about each school by attending information sessions is a really good option. Uh, information sessions are normally events coordinated and hosted by admissions departments to offer in-depth discussions and information on program specifics. Um, many of the schools offer convenient online information sessions. Um, others provide like pre-recorded information. But since COVID, uh, certainly more and more schools are opting into all of these online platforms and they have uh, just a rich amount of information available to you. So if you have the opportunity, I would also recommend that you choose a live version of one of these information sessions. Uh, and that's because if you're doing a live version, uh, they tend to be much more engaging and fun and provide you the opportunity to ask your own questions of the participants. Uh, panel. And yes, I did say panel. Information sessions can sometimes provide you the chance to meet several people at one time, uh, program directors or faculty or current students, alumni, and of course your admissions counselors all uh, during one time. So it's a, it's a really good way of learning more. Um, also, the information sessions, um, they may not be available at the school of your choice um, and for your particular program of interest, uh, but feel free to reach out and discuss the details uh, with the uh, program director or the admissions department specifically. Make sure to contact them as early in the academic year so you're not missing any important deadlines. Be prepared to ask questions about the program that are unique to you, that you're very interested in knowing. And of course, don't forget the standard questions, one being how successful are your students uh, in completing their program? In other words, are they graduating? And two, how successful are your graduates in the when they finish? Are they finding employment? What are the program directors looking for in applying uh, prospective students? Again, from uh, your uh, standpoint as a prospective student, you want to get some insight whenever possible as to what they might be looking for in students. So once you've decided on a program, uh, we can move on to that next question. How do you get into grad school uh, and your, the grad school of your choice? Uh, after your research is completed, you'll obviously have a better understanding as to what is needed to meet the minimum admissions requirements. Of course, I said minimum. You should always try to overachieve those minimum requirements. Uh, pay very close attention to those things. 
including finding deadlines for certain programs. Uh, uh, they may require you to apply well in advance, even one or two years in advance uh, for the semester of your preference. Um, some programs is a mad rush and don't open their uh, applications until you know a few months prior to starting. So kind of take a look at those deadlines and when things are opening and closing and so forth. There could also uh, be things like tests that are required. So you want to get on those as soon as possible, like GRE or LSAT and so forth and uh, completion of clinical hours or uh, volunteer hours are required or prerequisite completions and so on. So, so now is also the time to consider, uh, by the way, and this is a side note, a professional identity. So when's the last time you checked your social media platforms? What, what might a colleague or, or a professional connection find in your name? Are the platforms that need uh, or are there platforms where you need to uh, erase your profile or perhaps update them? Uh, this is the time to do it. Uh, remember, you want to set a good impression uh, and you can start by building a LinkedIn profile if you don't already have one. And just a reminder, use a very professional headshot. So yes, you should do all of this before you even apply to grad school. That's an insider uh, uh, advice uh, and insider scoop there. So some programs uh, also may require interviews, by the way, uh, by a panel or an individual as part of the screening process. I think you should really consider just treating this like a professional employment interview. So definitely uh, be on time, uh, be professionally dressed, prepare to answer questions about yourself, and, and certainly be prepared to articulate your interests and passion about the field. Uh, by the way, do some homework on your interviewee uh, when possible, um, and that uh, always helps. Uh, and make sure that you address them with their proper title, Dr. Professor. Of course, um, the last point is assuming you, you get into your program of choice and you start school, now what? What should I expect in grad school? Uh, so I will say this, this is not a time typically for academic exploration. You are specializing in a very specific arena. So graduate school will be a very different experience from your undergrad experience. Uh, that in grad school, graduate education will be more rigorous, demand more of you as a student. It should be. Expect the intensity level to be heightened. Uh, it may be more fast paced than you're used to. Some programs could be one to two years, while PhD and doc other doctoral programs may be five to six years. So stay focused on your commitment and expect little to no social life. Uh, if you came to graduate school to socialize and uh, have a good time, this is typically not the space to do so, but it is the space in which you will make professional connections. And these can be of critical importance to your career. So students in your cohorts will most likely be your future professional colleagues. Your professors too will be an incredible wealth of information and a resource for even more future connections. Um, some uh, last bit of advice as well, uh, get involved with professional organizations as soon as possible. For example, national organizations like the American Psychological Association. American Academy of Physician Assistants or Nursing Associations, uh, any of the any type of national and even state local organizations that um, could provide you additional professional development opportunities, and uh, of course, most importantly, more connections. So, in conclusion, I hope this was helpful to you as you begin uh, exploring and determining if graduate school is for you. I pray God will open the right door for you and bless your journey. Signing off here on behalf of the gradschools.com website. Check us out there. Check all of our programs out. There are some wonderful options. Have a great day. Blessings.